Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we are going to show you how to archive and then delete contacts from your command. First things first, you will see that we are already in our contacts tab in command. You can see that over here on the left hand side of your screen. And we definitely want and highly recommend that you export a copy of your contacts anytime you're coming in here to archive, delete, make any kind of bulk actions that may cause you to lose contact information, definitely recommend that you export a copy just so that you have a backup. And you would do that right here on the right with three dots. If you're a solo agent, you would only do this once. You would click the three dots and choose export all owned contacts. You'll get a green ribbon that says that it is in process. Now, if you are on a team, you will also want to click your profile name and choose your team from the drop down menu. Solo agents, you won't see a team here. If you're on a team, you will see it. Click that once. Now you are in your team profile. Click the three dots again. You'll notice there are a few more options. Now, if I had any owned contacts on our team profile, this would have been lit up in bold and I could have chosen that. Okay, so I would have clicked this. I would have gotten the same green ribbon saying that it was processing an export of my of my own contacts from the team profile. However, I do not have any, so that option is not there. If you ever feel this is an error, we con we recommend you contact your Rainmaker as you may be the assignee on some contacts, but not necessarily the owner. Now, for today's purposes, I'm gonna go back to our personal profile here. Now, we had this green ribbons that said our exports were in process, right? So let's hit the refresh button. We should have some notifications. There they are. You will see that our full contact export is here and tap to download. If I had chosen to export team owned contacts, the contacts I owned on the team profile, you would have seen a second notification here saying that it either returned zero results or that that contact export was also complete. And you would just wanna make sure that you're tapping to download each time here for the personal and then again for the team one if it was listed here as a notification. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and dismiss. Now that you have your backup, let me show you a few ways to archive. Then we're gonna to go to your archive and discuss the delete options. Okay, so here you will see we have one contact pulled up. If you have more than one or a few pages, you can go over here to show more. You can see up to 500 per page. For today's purposes, we're gonna leave ours where it is. However, if you would like to choose more so you can select up to 500 at a time, you can go over here to let you see more. So to delete a single contact, you would just simply click the box beside them, choose the bulk action drop down, and choose archive. If you had multiple, let's just say it was right here on the front, for some reason it was just random. So you could have chosen, let's say this is all full, just pretend it's all full of contacts. You could have clicked the box for one, four, seven, and eight, and you wanted to just archive those, you would again just choose the bulk action drop down and choose archive. Let's say it was a particular tag. Let's say you were attempting an import and it was not formatted correctly. And so the import came in and all the information is just in the wrong places. Susie's phone number is with Bob, something like that and you need to get rid of that import, you could simply come up here and choose filters. And where it says tags, you could have typed in whatever the tag was that you used for that particular one and choose that tag. You would come down here to hit apply and it would show you the contacts with that particular tag. There are obviously other ways to use filters. You can choose a lot of different options here. Tags are the easiest when doing bulk action. And then now that you would have had that entire tag pulled up here, you can either choose this box to choose all of the contacts, or again, if it's just a few that seem messed up, you can just choose the individual box by the, each contact's name and go to the bulk action archive here, okay? So those are the several different ways to 
select some out of your database and archive. Now I want to show you where your archive is located and the options you have there. You'll go to your profile name here, click once, go to settings. And give this just a moment to load. Come over here to your command settings on the left, click once. You're going to go to contacts, click once, and cart contact archive. Click that one time. Now, if we had archives here, it would show up. In fact, I'm going to take a moment and go grab that one contact just to be able to demonstrate to you how to have it here in your archive. So just give me a quick moment. I was thinking I had one in archive for you. All right. Here we go. So we're just going to grab that. Again, drop down menu, hit archive. It does ask you if you are 100% sure, just hit archive. And now she's gone away to the archive. So going back, profile name, settings. Let it load for a moment. Come over here to command settings, choose contacts and contact archive. There she is. All right, please notice that you have two options. You can either restore or delete this particular contact. If you want to restore, it will go back into your contacts tab and be a live contact again. If you want to permanently delete it, you can choose the trash can right beside it. If I had more than one contact in archive, I can choose to see up to 50 at a time here. I could choose the select all button and it would populate some bulk action buttons right here. I can restore all the ones I've selected or I can delete selected permanently, okay? Please know you do have a search feature if you ever want to search. When it says date archived, they are not always in order. They will be jumbled up once they get into the archive. So if you're looking for a particular date that you may have archived some, but you have a, let's say a thousand in your archive, they're not all going to be clumped together. You will have to kind of fish through the pages here to find all the ones from a particular date. So they're not in order by date. All right. So for this particular one, we are not going to permanently delete her, but please know the benefit of this is, again, going back to the reference of you may have imported something incorrectly. You need to archive them and then permanently delete them from here in order to re-import them. Otherwise, every time you go to re-import them, you will get an error on the failed import log showing you that it was a duplicate. It will say duplicate contact in archives. So that, that's why this permanent delete is very important. You do have an option here, folks, to do a database wipe. We do not recommend this at all, unless you are just completely leaving your brokerage or well, Keller Williams altogether. There may be some extreme cases. Just know that this is, this is a super permanent button right here. Delete all archived contacts. So, in one fail swoop, you can choose archive all contacts that will move all contacts from your contact tab in command to the archive we were just viewing. Then in another second step, you would choose delete all archived contacts. This would completely wipe your database. So again, do not recommend ever doing this, but it is here if you ever need it. So today we have covered how to archive and then delete a single contact, contacts in bulk, contacts gathering them by a certain tag, and then also how to permanently delete those archives either one by one in bulk or doing a database wipe. If you have any questions beyond this, please feel free to reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We'll be very happy to help you, especially when it comes to your imports. We will give you a quick tip link so that you can archive and delete your own contacts that may be messed up, and then we'll be happy to reformat your contact list and help you import it. Okay, have a great day and thank you for watching.